Hello Leo, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a quick general reading for you for something that you're not expecting, but it would benefit you to expect it. So these are going to be general and pretty quick, but if you'd like something more, I almost said more positive, more personal, you can check out the description. Oh no, I hope it's positive. Let's see. Okay, Leo. So what's happening for Leo that they don't expect? for Leo. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups and we have the Hanged Man. So this is some sort of, um, this is an ending or a breakup, a walking away in some sort of stagnancy. Um, I'm assuming that in this stagnant place that there's healing that's done from this walking away, but there's something that's, something is being, something's being ended and then halted and someone's in a pause, um, place. So this could already, this could be you now, You've gone through a breakup and now you're in a very stagnant place or this is going to be happening. Show me more about this for Leo or this is someone that you're dealing with. Show me more about this for Leo. You could be dealing with a Pisces as well. Ooh, we have the world. Yeah, so a new cycle. So um, there's some pause in between an ending and a new beginning. So something new is happening. Um, something's changing about someone's experience, someone's everyday experience. Someone's entering a new cycle after leaving this cycle. Also, after leaving the cycle, there's a lot of realizations that had to be had about the cycle so that you could clearly move on to the next cycle. Okay, so let's get more details about this for you, Leo. about the Eight of Cups for Leo. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. So this is an ending that happens after a fight, an argument, someone's defending themselves. Also, someone is, someone is being kind of manipulative is kind of what I'm feeling from this Five of Swords, like with their words. Yeah, so there's just like a bad fight that ends a connection or ends, could it could be a job for you as well, um, where someone leaves a job like in a bad way, like not in a bad way, but like it's like on a sour note is kind of how someone's leaving this situation. And then someone's in a stagnant period before the new. So yeah, there was something very um, unpleasant about whatever went on here with this ending. Um, yeah, someone's kind of like brutal with their words. Show me more about the Hanged Man for Leo. Yeah, the Six of Swords. Yeah, so someone, this stagnant period, it was stagnant in the physical, but energetically you were moving to a better place. You were healing things, releasing things, having realizations. You were moving um, in the 5D in the, in, like, so that your 3D experience could change. So yeah, you had to get to a better place. Interestingly, the Five of Swords to the Six of Swords, definitely a progression story. It feels like mentally someone had to get to a better place. But also this physical ending um, was moving someone towards a better place as well. But mentally and emotionally, internally, someone had to get to a better place. Okay, and show me more about the, uh, the new cycle, the world <laughs> for Leo. Show me more about the new cycle for them. Wow, we have the Three of Wands. So, yeah, you're seeing the potential of a new space. You're, you are um, almost seeing the future of a space. Like, you're seeing that, that you want to take action on a space because you see that there's potential there. Show me more about the new cycle. You're excited for this new as well. We have the Five of, of Pentacles. So there's still some energy of loss that's needing to be dealt with. Um, this could be loss of finances because of this. Someone struggling with finances because of this um, walking away. So 
so yeah so this is definitely like it's like someone's moving on to their new cycle but there's still this energy of loss that someone's needing to deal with so if in this space there's there's some energy where if you had already gone through this there might have been some healing that or whoever's going through this there's going to be some healing that's left over that's not dealt with until they're in the new cycle and if this isn't you this is someone else um, you moving on in a new cycle, someone's left out in the cold because of this. Okay, so... Um, when dealing with this ending, what should... Well... Yeah, so when dealing with this ending, what should Leo focus on or be reminded of? What would you like to say to Leo about this ending? Wow, we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so it's it's like something that you know that you need to walk away from, or you know should be walked away from, or you did know should be walked away from. Show me more about what you'd like to remind them of in regards to this walking away. Ace of Pentacles. There's new opportunities that you're going to be um, blessed with and you are going to be brought to. Um, there's new beginnings that are going to be had for you and there's opportunities for what you're afraid of losing here um, to come back to you or to come to you in another form or like like say you're you're losing a relationship here it's like you're it's because you're moving towards a better relationship right if you're losing a job here or you're walking away from a job it's because you're moving towards something that's better for you. Um, Show me more about this Five of Pentacles. What is this Five of Pentacles about in the new cycle? The Magician. Okay, so we have to be conscious of what we're manifesting for ourselves and the limitations that we're putting on ourselves in our mind. Um, how far we, we see ourselves going. So this feels kind of a little bit like, um, I guess it kind of feels like a little bit of a warning here especially with the three of wands here it's like with this new cycle keep an open mind with it don't stifle your own potential because you have limitations with your belief system your beliefs like what what you believe is what rules your reality every day so if you believe something to be true it's true it is true if you believe that you can only go so far you can only go that far if you believe that there's no limit for you you can go as far as you possibly could imagine that's that's your reality that is that's your limitation so if there might be a focus on being aware and a little bit of a warning about your limiting beliefs and how you're limiting yourself and what you see is possible for you and the potential that you see for yourself it's much greater than you might be giving yourself credit for so this is just a little warning in what you're manifesting like you can be manifesting the three of wands where maybe you don't have like that concrete proof that something is working or something's going to benefit you but you you have an open heart and open mind to the fact that there's so much potential in whatever you're going to next that there's the potential for it to grow tenfold you know what i mean rather than thinking in a space of lack and what you don't have and what you could lose and what you could lose for the future like you losing something here could be kind of triggering a little bit of a fear in you about losing things for the future so just be aware of what you're manifesting for this new cycle and knowing that your potential is as far as you allow it to be and as far as you tell yourself it is. Um, yeah, you're very powerful as long as you believe that you are. So what can, what can Leo be excited about? What can Leo be excited about? Page of Cups. Okay, so there's some small offering. I'm feeling like it's an offering, but I'm feeling like it's almost like an offering from the universe. Like that some sort of concrete proof that there's potential of a space. It's like that's what that is. Um, whether it's coming from a physical person or it's coming from what you're experiencing in your experience. Um, there's some offering of like happiness or fulfillment or some idea of fulfillment or there's some start or a new beginning um, that has to do with fulfillment with it being with cups um, but it's very small 
and it's something that maybe you have to believe in is kind of what I'm feeling you have to kind of believe in it because of the feeling that you get when it comes to you I don't know what this is this feels like something specific for someone or a few people where there's something that you feel you feel excited about it but it's small right now and it has to be grown this is also someone else had an energy of like this where there's some effort that needs to be put in for it to grow as big as it can be but there's still a lot of potential in that space with the three of wands which the three of wands has been coming out like all day um so what else can leo be excited about what else can leo be so super excited about oh my camera's about to die Ooh. The Hanged Man again. Okay, so this period after this walking away, this loss, um, leaving something, you should be excited about this period of moving towards something better. There's there's some exciting things involved with this about the new experience that you're going to be having. There's a lot of realizations happening about um, where you're going and what you could be manifesting for yourself. Also, realizations that are very healing about the situation that you were just in as well. So this is a very... Um, very important time to be excited about here with this hanged man right before this new cycle. Um, so thank you, Leo. Best of luck going through your situation and so much love per usual. Okay, bye.